Christina. Welcome back to another beautiful day in the garden. Today we're going to be doing something very exciting that I haven't actually done before. We are doing a technique that has been popularized by my good friend and our one and only show pony, Jeremy Massey from Massey Art Studio. We're going to be doing the paint grenade today. And what that is is basically a flip cup and he puts a push pin into the side before you put the paint in and then once you flip it onto the canvas then you pull the pin like a grenade and the paint comes out. So it looks really fun whenever he does it and I'm dying to give it a try. So that's what we're going to do today. We are using a 20 by 20 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft. I have taped the back and put my push pins in. I'll scoot that over here. I'll show you my colors over here. The first one we are using, we're using some more of our Artie's colors that our good friend Fiona has sent us from Slovenia. This first one is cadmium yellow light hue and that's that one. I don't have stir sticks in all of them, but I'll show you on the white how thick it is. Next we are using cadmium orange. Nice, bright, happy color palette for our show pony. Jeremy loves bright colors. Then we are using vermilion hue, which is kind of a reddish orange. Very, very pretty. And we are also using our cardinal red, which is this one, which is more of a magenta. And then last but not least, I keep tempting to put the cup up there. <laughs> We're using alizarin violet, which is this one. Very, very pretty. And then I have my white, which is uh, titanium white from Amsterdam, mixed with a little bit of our satin enamels in pure white. Not super, super thick paint today. You know, a little bound and then melting into itself right away, leaving a trace for just a second. So not super, super thick. So I'm gonna go ahead and layer my cup and then I'm gonna thin out the rest of my white and put it down as a base coat. So for a 20 by 20, we need 16 ounces of paint. That's a 16 ounce cup. So. All right, let's do it. Let's kind of go light to dark and then dark to light. So I'm gonna start with some white. And we're gonna do yellow. I don't know if I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna layer it because I'm better at it that way. <laughs> and then some cadmium orange. And then we're gonna use the vermilion, which I almost dropped. And is this one, cardinal red, the magenta color. They're so pretty. And then some of the alizarin violet. Okay, I'm gonna put another layer of white in there. Oh, that's so cool, I love that. Should we do that again or should we go? Oh, the white is sinking. Yeah, cause it's heavier, that's okay. Put a little bit more on top. That's pretty cool. Yes, it is. Paint density is awesome. You're my density. <laughs> okay, I think I'm just going to go light to dark again. The same order. Be very cool. That was definitely, there was a lump in there. But we'll find it when it comes out. That's because I was being lazy and I didn't put the pantyhose on my flow troll. Which you should definitely do. Do as I say, not as I do? Well, I did go and put the painting hose on the flow trawl after that happened, so. All right, we're gonna put a little bit more weight on top. Okay, I'm excited about this. Are you excited, HOA? Oh yeah. Okay, so we're gonna leave that alone for just a second. Okay, and we're gonna take what's left of our white. I think I'm gonna throw some of the magenta in there to just kind of make a pinkish color, and then we're gonna water that down with some water to give ourselves a pretty base coat. Kind of like a raspberry-ish sort of color. Very sherbet-y. Okay. I think you just invented a word. Sherbet-y? sherbet, -y? sherbet -y. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Wow, that looks so pretty already. All right, we're gonna put uh, a little puddle of this down in the middle. And I guess I'll use the rest of it as a flow extender after we flip that. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Boom, boom. <laughs> this one's for you, show pony. Woo, look at that. Ooh, that's so pretty. Look at all the cells already. 
Wow. All right. Let's give that a second. And then we're gonna pull the pin on our paint grenade. <laughs> there we go. Okay, wow, that's really cool. I love those colors. That's really pretty in there with the orange and yellow and the red. Beautiful cells popping up. Okay, we don't want to wait too long. Look at that, looks like a tequila sunrise. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little bit of paint on the corners. We should go around it once. Just to give it something to slide on. And the reason that we put a full extender on or a base coat on is to allow that paint to slide around without eating itself, without losing its composition. So there's some really cool stuff happening in there right now. And if we didn't use the flow extender when I went to tilt it, it would all just kind of roll over itself and grab onto the dry canvas. So by putting this wet base coat on, we are allowing it to slide easily and not eat the composition. Let's put some on the side real fast. There's a lot of paint on here though, so we'll be fine. putting it on the sides because we don't want it to get dry. We want our color to stay on there. That's a very bright and happy pour, isn't it? <laughs> show pony, we happy. Our paint grenade in bright and happy show pony colors. Okay. Alrighty. Wow, it's selling up like crazy too. I'm not even gonna torch it because we'll get more cells. Hey, are you ready, darling? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Let's kind of walk this down the canvas a little bit. I'm going to go off this edge first, come back, and then we're going to go down that way to that edge. Go over the edge. We're just going to walk the paint down the canvas. Nice and easy. I really like what's happening up there. Maybe I need to take this corner off. That's really cool. Wow, this is so pretty over here. Fireball almost. What do you think, HOA? Very sunny. Yeah, very bright and happy, just like Jeremy. <laughs> well, that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. So, thank you guys for hanging out with us today. I will show you this one when it's dry. I'll see you in a minute. Hi, guys, it's not Mina. <laughs> <laughs> I've been asked to, uh, to to do a pour for you guys, and what better uh, what better thing than a paint grenade? I love the name already. So this is for Show Pony. Oh, uh, I don't know if you noticed my uh, T-shirt that uh, that the Show Pony and Lee sent to me. The Massey Boys sent me this awesome shirt. I'm apparently I'm HOA number one, and they're number two and three respectively. <laughs> so, all right, let's put this on so I don't mess up my awesome shirt. Okay. Gloves are a little small, but it'll work. Okay, we're gonna put a little white in the bottom of the cup. Take a little bit. Enough. 
keep it standing on its own. Okay, then we're gonna do a little bit of yellow. What color is this again? Cadmium yellow light. Cadmium yellow light. Okay, there you go. And orange. Because this is a very hot red flame. You're kind of covering up the paint with your finger. There you go. Okay, it's a lot of orange. Lost track. <laughs> a cardinal red. I think that's the vermilion. Vermilion. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then this is the cardinal red. Is this auto focusing? Yeah. It focuses in what's over in the center. Okay. Well, with this we need less paint because this is only a twelve by twelve, right? Right. Is that enough paint? Yeah. That's a seven. That's a nine ounce cup. You should be way more than fine. Just cut it. Keep going. Fill it up. Okay. Okay. Now we're gonna do the yellow. Okay. Yeah. Yellow. Okay. Yeah. 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 You're not going to need a base coat with that size canvas. Okay, so... I think you need more paint in your cup, though. Put more vermilion in there, put more orange in there. Maybe another shot of purple. There's a lump in that. Okay, a little bit of orange, maybe. Some yellow. So I'm doing this Mina style, taking up the last two millimeters of the cup. <laughs> You're so funny. So now when you put the white them up, or okay. so what do, I, what do I put in there? You don't need to put a base coat down because it's, need a, it's only a ten by ten. So I need a color. No, you're gonna have way more than enough paint okay. in there. Um, so listen, try to flip it so that the pin is on this side prominent, so I can see you pull the pin out. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Are you ready, wife of Austin? <laughs> Indeed, I am. <laughs> it's the lovely start to color. Okay, ready? Here we go, and... Ooh, pretty, pretty. All right. Okay, now just tap the bottom a tiny bit. Whenever you're ready, pull the pin, baby. Are you ready? <laughs> pin grenade! Funk. Okay, now it's going to start to move. So you can move it around and do like a flip and lift thing. Remember how we made like designs through the... Yeah. Cut with the lip of the lift it up with it, yeah. More paint's gonna come out. So just drag the lip through it. There you go. Perfect. Very nice. Ta-da. Okay. Uh, this is really cool. It is really cool. All right. So let's see. Uh, what do I like? I really like what's going on over here. I like what's going on over here. So should I go what I, I want to get rid of this tail. No, the tail's going to look really cool later. Really cool. I would turn it around and flip off the edges that you're not as crazy about. Yeah, I'm not crazy about that. Yeah, so tilt that first. You need go to, to, go to the corner, yeah. See how the paint's so rolling it's, over it's itself? Yeah. itself right? But that's okay because you have a lot more paint than you need on this floor, so. That's really pretty. Walk it down the canvas <laughs> so it doesn't change so much. It's to distribute your paint even. Distribute the paint evenly. Nice. There we go. That's really cool. It looks like lava dripping off of there. So, what do I like the most? I like this the most, this side. Um, I guess I can take off that and open up this some more. Ooh, is this why do you want to take off things? Is this looking a little uh, No, it's going to look really cool. Is it? Yeah. So I'm done? Well, it depends. I mean, do you want to... The only thing I would recommend is maybe um, 
that large thing that's pointing three quarters of the way across the canvas, take it all the way down. So it, this? Yeah, the yeah, that's what it's talking about. Take this all the way. No, down. no, no. This tip right. Oh, here. that all the way that way. Yes, yeah, so you don't have like a main part. <laughs> don't like the main parts. Not in the painting anyway. There you go. Just take it to the tip and then. Okay, you can take it back to the center a little bit if you want to. And then just touch up your corners and edges and I think you're probably good because that's really cool looking. Very cool. So now just take your finger and scoop up the paint that's on the side and get your corners that you didn't cover. Two facing me. Nicely done, HOA. I like that a lot. That's really pretty. I am so in love with this. <laughs> I love Jeremy. He's full of love. Isn't he? He is. Awesome. He's such a sweet, sweet guy. That's fine. Already red one. It's okay. Nicely done. See? I do pay attention. You just got one little edge on the other side that's still a little white. This one or a different one? The next corner over. You could even scrape the paint off the bottom. Oh, there you go, that works too. A little bit more on this side. I'm just one smidge right there on the side side. There you go. And then scrape the drips off the bottom with your finger. There you go. Starling. Nicely done. I'm very impressed. Let's see if we can get a little closer. <sighs> When is it that zooms in? Uh, the big ring, the fat ring. Oh, there we go. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Very cool. So you haven't been zooming around? Well, it's only a 10 by 10. There's okay. not much. <laughs> okay, the only thing that I'm going to give you is a suggestion. You see how you've got that, like, reddish part, and then there's, like, kind of a white, like, a bunch of four or five cells kind of connected to each other? Yeah. That's what we kind of call a caterpillar. Okay. So if you don't like the way that those caterpillar thingies look, you run can just take your it? finger. I would just take your finger and run your finger through it. Uh, you can wipe your hands off first. I'd rather use a stick. You can use a stick too. But you don't have to. If you like the way it looks and you're okay with the caterpillars, that's okay too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, use the thicker side. And you're just breaking up the caterpillar curve. There are enough straight lines in nature, my love. Go go one more time and make it a bit more wavy. <laughs> there you go. That's it. You made some hearts too. Very nice. Because it's full of love. Just like uh, you and Jeremy. <laughs> yeah. Alright, cool. Well, this is for your show pony. Got a double, got a twofer. There you go. <laughs> the right. paint grenade, which paint is an grenade. awesome technique. I love that. It was okay. so much fun. Well, uh, we are going to show these to you when they're dry. And see you in a we'll see you in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Okay, so these actually are not dry enough <laughs> to show you them standing up. But I did want to show you some close-ups. And then I will show you when they're dry on Friday. This was the 20 by 20 paint grenade that I did. And I think I'm going to call this one Fireball. It looks really cool. I love so many parts of this, like up here especially, with all of these cells. It's so pretty with that vermilion and the orange and the yellow and the pinker colors. Lots and lots of really beautiful detail. Really cool stuff. I love this, like, lacing here where the white mixed with the purple. very pretty piece. It's funny how such strong powerful colors can be actually 
so beautiful and peaceful kind of together. And then we go over here to HOA's piece. This one reminds me of lava. <laughs> it's so cool. It totally looked like lava when he was tilting it too. Really, really awesome. Lots of pretty cells. Great colors. So these are our two paint grenade pieces. And uh, I will show you them on Friday when they are dry. Thank you so much for hanging out with us and with HOA. Hope you guys enjoyed this pour. We'll see you real soon.